We are just over a week away from Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather in Miami. And Logan's younger brother, Jake, continues to agitate the 50-0 retired champion. This week, Jake hopped onto a social media talkback Floyd was having with fans and, of course, posted it on social media. And then it just certain um, fights. Um... Hey, Floyd. Hey, Floyd. Hey, Floyd. Yes. Got your stage. Got your stage. Okay, it's cool. Hey, so, get off the of clubhouse. My brother's gonna beat your. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, so like I was saying, <laughs> I got moved back to the audience. For more on this and the fight to come, let's now welcome in one half of the morning combat crew, our Brian Campbell. BC, I thought the hat thing was childish, but this is just, I don't know. I mean, how do you take this seriously? I mean, you can't. That's the thing. One thing you have to understand, whether you think this fight is pro wrestling or carnival circus, is that the Paul brothers are in on the joke. They are self-proclaimed trolls who, look, I, I talked to Logan Paul this week and specifically said, is you even getting a fight with Floyd Mayweather a troll job? He said, you're witnessing the greatest finesse in history. Why would Floyd agree to do this? This can only end badly for him was essentially the way he framed it. Uh, I think they all sort of realized the business potential here. And even though the fight next Sunday night, June 6th, is Logan versus Floyd on Showtime pay-per-view, Jake continues to play a huge role in the midst of that. He also recently just signed his own Showtime fight deal. So very interesting stuff here in sort of this exhibition spinoff to traditional boxing that 44-year-old Floyd Mayweather now finds himself in the middle of. Yeah, Floyd said he'd take on both brothers if needed. Uh, you sat down with both brothers this week. Let's talk about that to discuss their entrance into boxing. Uh, let's start with the chat with Logan. What was your main takeaway from talking to him? It, it, look, and it, this is a, a sort of storyline that echoes both brothers in a way is that, look, they are self-proclaimed trolls that I mentioned. They're, they're superstars in other areas, anime, video games, YouTube, etc. Yet they're taking this fight game very seriously. Uh, they are living the Spartan lifestyle. They have for nearly four years now. They are in camps with professional trainers. I was there on the grounds in Puerto Rico within Logan Paul's training camp. There are world-class sparring partners there. They are in a tremendous physical shape. The 26-year-old Logan Paul, for as low as, let's say, the betting odds have him as a chance of winning this fight, he's going to have a... 45 to 50 pound weight advantage, a six pound, a six inch height advantage, a huge reach advantage. I mean, whether you believe that this is all show or this could be a legit fight, Logan Paul is preparing that it will be legit. And while let's say Jake Paul is a little bit more interested in being taken seriously as a legit fighter, Logan Paul could be cracking jokes and be a troll but he does plan on going in there and knocking out Floyd Mayweather, whether you believe he can do it or not. So there really is not a comparison in history to this type of fight. Yes, Floyd Mayweather fought Conor McGregor and did nearly record-breaking business together, but obviously McGregor had a much more traditional fight background. This is uh, size differences, but at the end of the day, both are going to make a ton of money, and they are drawing interest for this fight that goes well beyond the sports world, the boxing world, and goes into a new category of teenagers and beyond. A very interesting set of events, but the Paul brothers believe it. They're coming. They're coming, whether you think they have a chance or not. Well, and as you said, I mean, they obviously have the showman part of the boxing persona down pat, but what will this do to Logan's reputation as a fighter if he loses? It certainly would depend on how competitive he can be. I think, like I mentioned, his brother Jake is more interested in being taken seriously and in, in actually going the path of fighting legitimate fighters. Lo, uh, Jake Paul is 3-0 and with three knockouts over more circus-type people, ex-MMA fighters, ex-NBA guards, etc. But I think for Logan Paul, even though he's joking a little bit more and he's talking, let's say, about a future potentially in mixed martial arts, uh, if they can go in there and save face, if Logan Paul loses like many think he will, but if he can be competitive, if he can be fun and entertaining, there is a market for this. Love it or hate it in the traditional boxing world, right now you could argue that both Paul brothers are among the biggest stars in boxing. I know that sounds uh, ridiculous, but the proof is in the recent receipts. Jake Paul has been a part of two monster pay-per-views previously in the past year with the Triller Fight Brand label, and it's done 
some of the biggest business boxing has done in recent years. So uh, the receipts say a lot. And right now, Logan Paul, if he can stay competitive, show that he's tough, even in a losing effort, there can still be some big business ahead for him. Okay, we got about 30 seconds here, uh, BC. Let's talk about Jake quickly. He signed the deal with Showtime for his fights. What was that conversation with him like? You know, he won't get into the details and neither will the network in terms of how many fights or for what level of money. But look, you have to believe he wants a fight with Floyd Mayweather. He told me he did. You have to believe with the gotcha hat situation that Floyd would want it too. Again, I think Jake's going to try to stay in the lane and start taking on actual fighters here. They don't have the first opponent or the site yet. It could be announced next week in Miami for the Logan Floyd fight. We'll see what happens there. But Jake is much more interested on gaining your respect, on being taken seriously in the fight game. It's hard to tell. How good is he up to this point? He is 24, he's in shape, and he's coming for the fight. So it's going to be interesting. The interview with Logan Paul being released on Showtime social media today. BC, great stuff. Congratulations on the interviews. Can't wait to see it. Thanks for joining us here on HQ. And for more on the Paul Brothers interviews and the fight game overall, be sure to check out Morning Combat with BC and Luke Thomas. Latest episode dropped Thursday. Looks at Mayweather, Paul, and McGregor Poirier 3. Download and follow wherever you get your preferred audio. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.